Black and White Network fans, we are back with another video and the buses are arriving in the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. Greg Abbott was not playing around when he said that he would actually bus illegal immigrants over to Washington, D.C. So Joe Biden can deal with them himself. Now, also, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is the best governor in the United States, he said that he would even ship um, illegals over to Joe Biden's home state of Delaware. So Joe Biden can deal with these people. Joe Biden has been an absolute disaster, folks. It's pretty clear. Even some Democrats now are coming after them for this. Even Beto O'Rourke. Now, Beto, I believe he's just saying this because he knows that illegal immigration is very, very unpopular here in Texas. But this man campaigned on that when he ran for the Senate. I want you Texas voters to remember that Beto O'Rourke is just uh, pandering right now because he needs the votes. But anyway, I digress. Ron DeSantis now has a message for the illegals who got bused from Texas over to Washington, D.C. because they're not staying in D.C. These people are making another trip. Check this out. DeSantis tells migrants on bus from Texas to D.C. do not come to Florida. Now, why is he saying that? It's because some of these people that were dropped off in Washington, D.C., they said they're making a trip to Miami. Ron DeSantis says, oh, no, you will not. So let's read some of this here over on the Hill. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued a statement on Wednesday telling migrants who were put on a bus in Texas and sent to Washington, D.C., that they should not try to travel to Florida after some of the migrants reportedly said they hoped to make it their way to Miami, hoped to make their way to Miami. Quote, to those who have entered the country illegally, fair warning, do not come to Florida. Life will not be easy for you because we are obligated to uphold the immigration laws of this country, even if our federal government and other states won't, DeSantis' office told Fox News. The warning comes the same day Texas Governor Greg Abbott followed through on a threat to bus migrants to D.C. and protest the Biden administration's halting Title 42, a Trump era policy that allowed for the expulsion of migrants at the border for health related reasons, a.k.a. the coronavirus. Some migrants told news outlets that they would not be staying in the D.C., but one person telling Newsmax their final destination is Miami. The Daily Beast spoke to 11 migrants who said they hoped to end up in Miami and New York City. Now, folks, their best bet is actually to go to the People's Republic of New York. And New York, they're pretty leftists over there. They like open borders. They should go there. I would not go to Miami. You, the, the people in New York, at least the uh, the leftist politicians over there, they'll probably welcome, welcome you with open arms. I don't know how the, uh, the Democrat voters, even though those people are pretty crazy, they're going to vote for Democrats anyway. Not sure how they, how they actually feel about this. But anyway, quote, Florida is not a sanctuary state and our social programs are designed to serve the citizens of our state. The census statement said, according to Fox News. If you have come here illegally, you have you have been done a great disservice by the Biden administration. They have encouraged you to make dangerous tracks, oftentimes at great physical distress to you and your family. Sometimes this has even meant putting your fate into the hands of dangerous coyotes and human traffickers. It added. Yeah, because. A lot of these people may end up going down to Miami on foot. And Joe Biden is definitely endangering these people. Folks, these people are coming from Central America. Most of all these people are not from Mexico. They cross over into Mexico and that, that journey is dangerous, man. A lot of people die over there. And I believe that Joe Biden has blood on his hands for doing that. Wide open border. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And Texans are being endangered. And it's going to get worse next month unless Joe Biden does the right thing and tightens up the border. We have immigration laws that he doesn't want to enforce because I said it before, man, this man hates Texas. He hates Texans. He hates red states. And he's doing this on purpose. 
because he hates you. So Ron DeSantis said, you're not coming here, man. We're not going to support you. And, you know, to hire illegals um, is against the law as well. You can't do that. I'm going to be interested to see um, what Ron DeSantis does with the first wave of people that try to enter into Florida because we know that they're coming. They're coming. So it'll be interesting to see if um, some of these people that uh, got bust over from Texas to Washington, D.C., then they make their way down to um, to Florida. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Ron DeSantis ends up busing them to Delaware, Joe Biden's home state. Actually, he should actually um, drop them off on the street that Joe Biden lives on. And let's just see how all that works out. Now, Greg Abbott, I would highly recommend that you not only bust these people to D.C., but bust them right on the steps of the nation's capital. And how about this? Drop them off directly in front of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue so they can have direct contact with Joe Biden. And you know what? Maybe they can actually meet with Joe Biden. Say, Joe, we're here. This is what you wanted. Where are we going to go? But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Ron DeSantis says, do not come here. And I believe that Ron DeSantis is a man of his word. It will not be easy for illegals coming into the state of Florida, just like it's not going to be easy here in Texas. Man, I'm a big fan of Ron DeSantis. Huge fan of Ron DeSantis. Governor DeSantis is protecting the people of Florida, and he's doing a great service to the United States of America. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Network. And we'll catch you next time.